If you know how to read Hangul, the Korean writing system, you can say you can basically read of any kind of Korean text even if you don't understand the meaning of the text. But can you be sure you're pronouncing it accurately? In this lesson, I'm going to show you one sentence that contains 10 Korean pronunciation points that Korean learners eventually end up running into while learning Korean. By practicing with this one sentence, you'll get familiar with those points consisting of some sound change rules and pronunciations that Korean learners find tricky. You're watching Talk To Me in Korean, and I'm Seungwon. Before I read you the sentence, pause the video and read it yourself first so that you can compare your pronunciation to the correct one. Finished? Okay, let me read it clearly. 한국말이 안 나와서 가끔 초조하고 곤란해도 티티믹과 같이 의지를 가지고 연습하면 언젠가 한국어 고수가 될 거예요. The sentence starts with the word 한국말, which is what we're learning right now. And I've heard this word being pronounced as 한국말 a lot. When spoken as one word at once, it should be pronounced like 한국말. Another example that I can think of is 막내. You want to pronounce it as 막내, not 막내. Because when there's a syllable ending with 기억 and the next syllable begins with 니은 or 미음, the 기억 is pronounced as 이응. 한국말. 한국말. And you see, 한국말 is attached with the subject marking particle 이, right? 한국말 이. And here comes another rule. When a syllable ends with a consonant and is followed by a syllable starting with 이응, that final consonant moves over to the following syllable and becomes the beginning consonant of it. So it's not 한국말 이, it's 한국말이. 한국말이. If you're studying Korean with us, there's no way you haven't seen this rule being used. Hi, I'm Hyunwoo. 안녕하세요, Talk to Me in Korean의 선현우입니다. Hi, I'm Hyunwoo. See, he never said 현우. It's 현우. 현우. 한국말이 안 나와서 가끔. Look at this word 가끔. 가끔. We have two similar consonants, 기억 and 쌍기억 in the word. You need to be able to tell that they have different sounds and also be able to pronounce them as different sounds. Sangyeok has a higher pitch than Kyok has. And try not to push out air when you pronounce Sangyeok. K, 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 K. If double consonants are too confusing, this lesson will be a silver lining. Go check it out. And when you pronounce Gum, you see the vowel u here. Some Korean learners confuse u and u. Focus on the shape of your lips. It's not ka gum, it's ka gum. U, u. Gum, gum. Ka gum, chojohago. Chojohada is a good word for practicing jiit and chiit. If you pronounce 지읒 with a higher pitch and a puff of air, it becomes 지읒. 조, 초, 조, 초. 한국말이 안 나와서 가끔 초조하고, and the next word, see how I read it, 곤란해도. It's not 곤란해도. When 니은 meets 리을, it becomes 리을, like 훈련, 날로. 
훈련, 날로, 곤란해도 초조하고 곤란해도 티티미과 과 here becomes 과 티티미과 When a syllable ends with 기억, 티귿, or 비읍 and is followed by these consonants the following consonant changes to the double consonant form 티티미과 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 같이 Let's look at the word 같이 When the final consonant is 티귿 or 티읏 and it's followed by a vowel E they change to 지읏 or 지읏 So this isn't pronounced as 가티 It's 가치 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 의지를 가지고 의지 In the first syllable of the word 의지 we have the vowel 의 It's a combination of 의 and 이 의 의지 If you need some practice, we have a perfect lesson on 의 for you. 티티미과 같이 의지를 가지고 연습하면 연습하면 When he meets these consonants, they're put together and become aspirated consonants like this, respectively. So, 비읍 and he meet and they become 비읍 연습하면 연습하면 All right, here are the 10 points that we saw from the sentence today. Keep repeating this sentence and focus on these 10 points and whatever text you read from now on, try to think if words there would be pronounced the same as they are written. Just remembering that they might not be pronounced as they look can be a lot of help. Great! This example sentence and the 10 pronunciation points were not introduced just to overwhelm or to scare you. Just think of it as a you know, stretching exercise to familiarize yourself with the sounds of Korean before you jump into a deeper level of the like, Korean language ocean. If you want to take a closer look at the Korean sound change rules and how to differentiate similar consonants, Check out our course, Korean Pronunciation Guide at TalkToMeInKorean.com Thanks for watching. I'll be back with another useful lesson, so please subscribe if you haven't, and stay tuned. Bye-bye.